Learn how to easily integrate a currency converter into your Elementor website within minutes. Empower users to view live currency rates directly on your site. This widget shows how dedicated you are to meeting the needs of your global audience. It builds trust, transparency, and lets customers see prices in their local currency, making it more convenient for them. For instance, in e-commerce websites, travel and booking websites, educational resources, service providers, and subscription-based services. Now let's get started. To use the Currency Converter widget, you must install and activate Unlimited Elements Pro on your WordPress site. Before jumping in, you need to get an API key from the Exchange Rate API website. After registration, you will be given an API key on your dashboard. You need to copy that key to the clipboard. Then, go to Unlimited Elements settings in your WordPress dashboard and find the integration section. Locate the exchange rate API key field and paste the copied API key from the exchange rate API website. Don't forget to save your changes and you are ready to go. Now, add the currency converter widget by going to widgets and searching for the currency converter. Hover over the widget and click install. You can now easily add the converter to any Elementor page by dragging and dropping it, then start configuring. Begin by setting the base currency with the three-letter currency code. Optionally, adjust the rate precision. In the Include Currency section, specify the currencies you want available. Next, choose the calculation mode. Opt for live or on button click for result display. To complete the initial setup, select the default currencies you want to display. Now your currency converter is set up and running. But if you want to take it one step further, you can customize the layout by turning on or off each element inside the widget to make it suit your specific use case. Don't forget that you can also customize the icons by uploading custom SVGs. After you've got your layout looking just right, it's time to have fun with customizing the styles. Head over to the Styles tab where you'll discover all you need to tweak typography, colors, spacing, and borders to bring your design dreams to life. In this example, I'm going to round off all the elements to give them a friendly look, especially the drop-downs, flag icons, and the call to action button. It's these small details that make all the difference. Once you're done, remember to hit publish and check out the page to see your final result. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.